I played my second ever legacy game and I really enjoyed it. What's up everybody? Welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to talk about my city. Now this is a legacy game that you can play afterwards like a regular game. Uh, but it has like legacy aspect to it. So if you don't want things spoiled Don't watch this video because uh, I, my idea is to spoil you everything I want to talk about everything in this game So if you don't want things spoiled if you think you are going to play this one Just don't watch this video and come back and watch it once you played it and see if our opinions match on this one so let me show you what you get in this box uh, Oh, again spoiler alert and uh, then we'll talk some more about it okay so uh, let's see what's in my city and uh, one last warning spoiler alert I will spoil everything in this game for you so don't watch out if you don't want to see behind this thing that is coming okay so basically each player will get one of these boards but this side of the board is to play after you are finished with the legacy game you can just play the regular game over here and on this side as you can see each player played a pretty much different game so as you can see this one missing some stones this one has more stones i think this was me so you're watching at the winning table so yeah uh, as you can see things will progress a little bit different the woods will completely be completely different for each player depending what they want to do you will get some tracks over here these things will at the start not be here so you will come up to them the rule book is pretty simple pretty straightforward it's like eight pages even if that it's seven pages of rules which is super easy and you get these envelopes and you will open up one envelope and you will play episodes one to three basically three games in one envelope you will play up to 24 games and uh, these pencils don't come with the game i just bought them so we can scribble on the board if needed stuff like that and the game basically basically revolves around uh, these tiles and i'm just going to show you some of them because showing you all of them would be insane but basically you will get these tiles and uh, some of these tiles, like for example this one you will unlock you don't get this right at the start and uh, there are three different colors yellow blue and red and these are the colors of the game there is also churches that are purple and uh, you will all get the same churches but at some point in the game you will have some different churches uh, i don't know who this player had as different church but yeah you will get some different churches and as you can see it is a bunch of polyomino tiles uh yeah this was uh, anna i think uh and her unique church or bruno no this was bruno so his unique church had like it was this little small church he and i had these unique little churches others had like a bigger ones and yeah you will get a bunch of these polyomino tiles that you will be playing throughout the game and uh, how do you play these tiles on the board you just don't put them randomly of course uh, you play those tiles by flipping these cards basically this is a flip and uh, place <laughs> type of game because you will just flip the card you will find this tile and you will put it on your board and usually you have to start by somewhere touching the river and what you want to do uh, throughout the game is uh, cover around the well with four different buildings you don't want to cover over the trees because trees will give you points you want to connect these two gold mines with the polyominoes covering them so you need to connect those and uh, you need to uh, cover over these stones because they will bring you some negative points and basically that's the that's the game you will be flipping these now you will get this one you will put it on the board next to already something that is placed on the board and you will also get a bunch of as you can see like this church for example is pretty tricky one and if you can't place the church you are automatically out of the game so you will be revealing this until every player has uh, until every card has been revealed or until every player has skipped their turn because they can't place any more tiles on their board and you can skip if you pay some points as you can see you are starting with 10 points and you can pay one point to skip some tiles if you don't 
find the good use of them you can discard them pay one point and be still in the game of course there's there, there's these guys they will show up uh, in the middle of the game somewhere around the middle of the game and you will you will start now at the zero point but you will earn points with them going around on the tiles and at the end of the game you will be left with lots of uh, stickered sheets that have some blanks some some of these uh, trees they provided way way more than you need of everything so yeah and basically each player of course has his own set of polyomino tiles and basically that is that that's everything that comes with the game of my city okay so that was my city my god now <laughs> i enjoyed this game so much that i don't know where to begin so basically you have these eight envelopes as you saw and each envelope comes with three games inside so it is good if you are playing this game to play the envelope to the full like you play full three games in a sequence you don't stop playing on a game two because most of the rules are usually apply just to that uh, envelope itself and uh, i don't it is just tailored like that to, to play them one envelope at a time three games by three games uh, in total there is 8 envelopes which means there is 24 games that you will be playing and once you are finished with it you will have like this side of the board that is useless because everyone will have a little bit of different board that's sort of some, some of these parts are not working anymore but luckily on the other side of course you will have this regular board and you can play like a regular old game that uh, just the regular game of my city a uh, really nice polyomino tile laying game so yeah the game itself uh, as i mentioned uh, i will spoil everything because i want to talk about everything and i'm just going to take these uh, envelopes just to remind myself uh what uh, what they are about because i'm not really sure when some things are coming so i just okay so now we have Okay, so chapter number one is the new land. This is basically like a little uh, introduction, introductory to the game, to the rules, how the game works. So basically you are putting these polyominoes and at the start of the game, uh, that rule changes throughout the game, comes back and forth. Uh, you need to put the same color tiles next to each other to score the most points that way. And whoever has the most points will get the best rewards. After all, you are playing for these like uh, dots that are up here on the board. And whoever has the most dots at the end of the game is the winner of that set game. And uh, yeah, you are just connecting. These are like three introductory games to teach you how the game works and to help out if you... There is really nice catch-up mechanic because if you win in the game, you will earn some points. But if you lose, you will get some trees because trees can earn you some extra points in this game if you don't cover them up. So if you are like, if you were bad in the first few games, you will get some trees, you will get some extra well to score some more points that way, which is really awesome. It's really nice catch up mechanic. Uh, the, in the chapter two, we get the churches. So we are now slowly introduced to the new type of building. It's the church and it scores a little bit different. It is color by itself, but if you want to score it, you have to have those three different colors, blue, yellow and red next to each other. And I think that this envelope number two was by far my favorite envelope. It gives you, I think, the most of new things. One factories also give you a lot of new things, but the churches and factories are definitely my my favorite. Uh, yeah, with the, uh, the churches are introduced, and the great thing about churches is if you can't play it on your board, you are automatically out of that round. You need to wait for every other player to play. So uh, you now have these churches, and you are really building around them. So they can fit. If they don't fit, if you like spread out too much, lose, uh, leave too much free spaces that cannot be completed, you will probably end up too soon and not earn enough points. So yeah, the churches are a really nice addition to the game and uh, my favorite uh, chapter by far. Then we have the flood. Now you can't build uh, next to a river you need there is a sawmill now and you will remove some of that forest on the side which is really cool because uh, at some point it gives you to build over the forest at the start you don't you can't build on the forest and then you clear some of the forest then you can build on the forest then again you cannot build on the forest and depending what patch of, of forest you left for yourself and i did a really poor job on that and i had really really big trouble to uh, come up with the idea how to go around this forest and everything 
slowly then uh, the gold rush introduces the gold it is new resource that you go after so two gold mines show up and if you uh, manage to cover them with the polyominoes they will uh, score you some gold nuggets and whoever has the gold nuggets uh, the most gold nuggets uh, you will get uh, all you can get a lot of points if you go by uh, for the nuggets and the, the thing even is that the nuggets are the tiebreaker at the end of the game and uh, they brought me in because i had one more gold nugget than a friend who had the same amount of points as me so i won just because having one extra nugget the gold nugget so yeah gold is pretty important in this game even even though you don't know that until the very end of the game but yeah if you go for the gold, it is really essential to go for it. And somewhere, somewhere around chapter 4, uh, usually there was like a really nice catch-up mechanic, but suddenly it stops. And now, some of the players didn't like it. I personally didn't have any problems with it because the game pushes you a little bit to, to go and try to to be as fast as you can to get some sort of things because some things now like there is railroads are coming and this gold rush thing so you need to be fast and you need to connect these first these are really really essential that you do them first otherwise uh, you will lose a lot of points which prove them in the long run they would really they really couldn't catch up with us because me and the friend were really going heavy on it and they kind of still played like a little bit because at that point the game is pretty much solitaire game and around chapter four it gets really competitive between players you are really rushing one against another to get some goals done before others so you deny them points because if they don't get points the same round you get them they are denied those points those gold uh, nuggets those whatever railroad stuff like that so you are really rushing for those things really trying to rush those things uh, and in the chapter 5 you are uh, introduced with the factories, factories are just as you saw blue buildings with the gears on them and now you can score if you have multiple patches so to say of blue colored uh, around the board you will get some points that way you can earn really a lot of points over the factories uh, the churches I forgot to mention one thing I did not kind of like about them is that uh, at one point uh, because I was bad, I got the smallest church, so it gives me like a little bit of catch-up mechanic, but the first player got like a really big 2x2 two two squares church, uh, I, when my was like 1x2 uh, squares, so he had really... and you, you're sticking with that church until the end of the game, and you need to play it, so uh, it was really hard for him to play with that church entire game, and I really had like a small church that even brought me 5 points, not 3 points which was uh, crazy and I could almost always use it unless there is one card that will throw one of the tiles you will not play that one tile sometimes it would be that church unfortunately but yeah where was I? factories yeah the factories were introduced factories were really cool I like how the factories work you get some extra gears to put on some of the blue uh, some of the blue other blue buildings and these factories have unique shapes different to those colors because those, those three colors have all the same shapes all the same exact eight same shapes so the churches are a little bit different as you saw and the factories give you those tiles that you really need that you were really looking for and at the same time they start to bother you because you don't need them like that because you learn to it's crazy awesome uh, then in the chapter six the mine is introduced that big chunk of uh, of uh, stone of like a mountain on the left that you could not build on now you can build beside it and get some points that way because that is the mining and mining can bring you a lots of points lots of things and uh, i really enjoyed it i went all in on the mines i think i didn't i didn't only get I like, like one bonus or something like that all the bonuses i managed to snag them up uh, i w went heavy on the mines mines are i think pretty important when, when they show up i think you need to go heavy on those because if you don't you will kind of fall behind too much and yeah so the chapter seven and eight just introduce railroads and uh, prosperity basically it is just more railroads now you get this railroad track uh, that goes underneath here and uh, you try to build it and cover as many of these points that you can and i really catch lots of these last points over here which brought me the victory so the game doesn't tell you at the start because you don't know once you once you are in the rounds you notice that those first bonuses are really not that worth 
you really want to go for the back of the points for these ones so yeah but basically that is that that's eight chapters 24 games and um, my final thought is that i absolutely enjoyed it just for the simplicity of it uh, the introduction of new rules is pretty simple pretty straightforward there's really little to no room to misunderstanding the rules uh, it happens some some rules were not like super clear to us we kind of had to debate but if we all gather uh, about the same opinion if you get the same okay so this is worth one this is worth two we are fine you know everybody gets the same points or, or lose the same points so yeah it's fine by me if, as long as you can uh, like uh, uh, get to the same conclusion together as a group but yeah uh, pretty simple game pretty straightforward easy game um, will i play it uh, like this normal this, this side will i play it more I don't know I, I i will definitely keep it because i like city building games i like polyomino games and this one it looks like a fine polyomino game now that legacy is over just the simple or oh, the other side uh, you don't do all the things that you do in a legacy game lots of the things will be discarded you will not need them in the box so basically you can throw them away if you want to i will not of course but yeah that is that uh, I, I absolutely enjoy this game and if you are thinking maybe of playing a legacy game I think this is a good start because it's pretty easy pretty simple game uh, of course everybody's playing for the win but if you just want to like dip your toes in the legacy games I think this one is a good start I think this one is definitely a good start to a legacy game and uh, yeah that's all I spoiled you spoiled you all the things I could uh, because I really wanted to talk about everything in it. It is absolutely great game. And this review is taking way long than it should be. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with me. And uh, do please join me next time when we are going to travel to Essen. Even though Essen 2020 is cancelled. We are going to travel there. Just because uh, nostalgia if nothing else. And until then. Поздравляю.